get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, we have Craig Ballantyne. He's helped over 1.5 million people with his turbulence training and home workout revolution exercise programs. He's been a fitness expert to Men's Health Magazine since 2000 and is the co-owner of the popular success newsletter, earlytorise.com where they reach hundreds of thousands of people daily with success, fitness, and self-improvement advice. Most importantly, right now, he is the author of The Perfect Day Formula, How to Own the Day and Control Your Life. Craig, thanks for being with me. Thank you very much for having me. Craig, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, uh, what's been the lowest moment and how you push through it? Probably the lowest moment for me was in 2006, just before I hired my business coach, I started going through some anxiety attacks and they were very, very serious ones. Um, You know, so it was, you know, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I would not be able to breathe. Uh, You know, I had tingling from the top of my head down to the end of my fingertips for six weeks every day, all day. Like it didn't stop. And I went to the hospital twice. I thought I was having heart attacks, Um, but I, you know, I just followed the... Uh, steps in my book that I had not written yet, but I was learning at the time. Yeah. And I just tried everything. So I did standing meditation, which is called Qigong. Yeah. I tried uh, regular meditation. That's when I struggled with it. I tried yoga, um, you know, classical music. You know, and I, I actually needed to learn how to breathe again properly from my belly and not from my upper chest with yeah. short, shallow breaths because that actually messes up the uh, carbon dioxide in your blood and makes Mm. you more anxious. Yeah. So all these things I was, you know, I was just living wrong at the time and I needed to fix myself and stop being a hypocrite. And, and I did. And because I had a meaningful incentive to change, which was to get rid of the anxiety. And so that was something I struggled with and it took about six to 12 weeks to do it, but I eventually did overcome it. Um, and I can feel it coming back on it at times really? when I'm stressed, but but I just you know slow down and breathe and it goes away. Um, you know, it's just like you can feel. It's almost like like a little bit of pressure right over your left pectoral. It, mm. For me, is where I feel it's like just right, right over the there. heart, right where the heart. Yeah, is. yeah, and you're just like, what's going on here? And um, you know, it's some type of compression there. Yeah, and. If I feel that, I know that I need to step back, relax, do yeah. some breathing, and it'll go away. That's that's really scary. When you first had it the first few times, did you even know what it was? No, I, I didn't. And I'll tell you what, if you ever go into a packed emergency room and you want to get to the front of the line, just say you're having a heart attack. <laughs> that, will, uh, that will change the receptionist's attitude towards you very, very quickly. And that's pretty much what you thought. You're like, I think I'm having a heart attack, and they just rushed you in. Yeah, I said that. I said that to the guy. I'm like, I think I'm having a heart attack right now. And he went from like, oh, this is another person wasting my time to like, okay, we're gonna take you right to the back right now. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Craig, what's been one of the proudest moments for you? Uh, proudest moment definitely getting this book out was huge. Yeah. Also. Um, you know, taking over early rise was just really, really neat. Um, I know that we can help a lot of people with it. And so I'm very, very happy. And then every year when we do that toys for tots drive, when I get to announce how much money we've raised, because there's several contributions between all the shopping receipts and then money that other people have sent in. That's pretty fun. Uh, we actually have Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus there. Mm, cool. I have, all, you know, like a hundred people gathered around and uh, we don't have like the Jerry Lewis telethon number come up, but you know it's uh, written right. down on my paper, and I get to announce it, and the crowd goes nuts. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Talk about when the forming the kit. What made you decide to do not only just the perfect day formula book, but the kit, and then what's in the kit? 
So the kit was actually Matt's idea. He came up with the brilliant idea of like, hey, let's put together the tools that are in the book yeah. and give it to people so it really walks them through it. So having the kit is like having me at your kitchen table across from it, you know, taking you through, creating your rules, creating your pillars, creating your vision, walking you through all that. Plus, it gives you, you know, aspects for the brain dump, which is a really cool tool that helps separate work and home. Um, it allows you to identify your magic time, and script your day, all these really important success tools that will help somebody accelerate the results. And so Matt gave me the idea. Our team put it together. It is really great. It's like having uh, presents show up at your house when you order it. It's like Christmas in July sort of thing. Right. And really, really happy with how it turned out. And so they, you know, they'll open it up. And they'll get the gratitude journal that we have that's also been a really big impact on my life for positive reasons. Yeah. And then they'll get the uh, workbook to help them create their rules. And then they'll have a little um, piece of paper that they get to write their rules down on in a plastic uh, carrying case for it. It's just like carrying around your goals at all times, like right. Zig Ziglar said. Yeah. So have that. And then there's a section on your um, transformation. Then there's a section on goal setting. So it's a poster that folds out, and it's a bit of an unconventional way of setting goals compared to normal. And then they have uh, how to create your vision with all the, the penetrating questions that I ask that help people identify what really matters to them. And then finally, uh, there's that scripting work pad sheet in there as well. So there's 100 days of scripting your day and using yeah. the brain dump. It's all those tools to help make sure that somebody has the greatest success that yeah. they get. And then there's the golden ticket which, you know, if somebody wants even more coaching, we have a online coaching program that helps people take it to the next level. Yeah, so what is the golden ticket? It yeah, sends so it them gives to, them a huge yeah. discount. Yeah, a huge discount for them to call into our customer support team. And if they want to get all the videos that I've created that go along with it, that are in, you know, walk people through even more questions, a, a life assessment that I've done that's been really helpful uh, how to get more done in their business. There's a business coaching section. There's some health-related coaching sections. And then there's even one coaching session where I explain all the flaws in the formula and how to fix them hmm. because over time I realized that the perfect day formula gives you a perfect day, but it's still not perfect. You know, Some people can take some of the things a little too far, sometimes the wrong way, and so we fix all that just to make sure that everybody's dialed in and still mm -hmm. back on track. What's a flaw? or that you discovered? Uh, some people being too strict with their rules. So obviously with the rules, you need to follow them probably 90% of the time, but you don't want rules to get in the way of the two most important things in life, which are people and experiences. Mm. So if you say that you have a rule that uh, you, know, you don't do anything from Monday to Thursday and you just focus on work, and this opportunity comes up for you to have dinner with a friend you haven't seen in 10 years but you say oh no i don't uh, you know do social things on tuesday evenings yeah I mean, that's ridiculous that's taking things way too far um one you want to be focused by your rules but you're not going to give up an opportunity to you know to really have a, a great memory with somebody now of course you have to you have to draw the line both ways you can't be going out every night and staying up late and drinking socially every night if you want to have success in your health and wealth building. You just right. can't do that. Yeah. But at the same time, you can't be so strict that you give up on really great opportunities. So, I mean, most people are going to be wise enough to know what fits in that 90% yeah. boundaries and then the exceptional times that you go and make the exceptions for. Yeah, and you talk about it a little bit about your routine, like whatever, you go to bed at 8 or 8.30 and wake up at 4, but if you need to go out later, then you'll just kind of take a nap in the middle of the day and kind of get around that rule if it affects the yeah, experience. Yeah, it, it is really important to stick to your wake-up time yeah. as closely as you can. Yeah. Otherwise, then you get into like a three-day stretch where you're really tired in the morning and you're sleepy all afternoon. Yeah. Um, so it's better just to take the hit on the one day where you, know, you, you stay out a couple hours late, you, know, you miss a couple hours sleep, you still get up very close to your wake up time and you have a nap that day or you go to bed really early the next day and then you're right back on track. Yeah. But if you know, you sleep in on Saturday and Sunday on the weekends like I used to, then it's, you know, not until Thursday morning when you feel like you've caught up, but then it's Thursday morning and you're back in the cycle of going out late again. Yeah. Craig, this has been awesome. Thank you so much. And um I have one last question. But um first, where should we point people towards? Where should they check out 
um, you know, the perfect day formula and the perfect day formula kit. We can get the uh, perfect day formula on Amazon in all its formats. You know, the audio book is really popular. Yeah. You, I got you, an you, audible. You, anyone, anyone should right? get it on audible. It's, it's like a steal for actually what the price is on audible. Yeah. It's really great. And then from there, if somebody does want to have, you know, that virtual coaching where it's like having me sitting at, across the table from them with the kit, they can go to perfectdayformula.com and actually watch a video where I unbox everything and mm-hmm. I walk people through in very much detail all the cool tools that they're going to get to succeed. Yeah. I mean, I would encourage anyone to obviously, you can go on Audible. I think it's like less than $10 for the Audible book. Um, and it's like three hours. It's so, yeah. I mean, what you can save in time, energy, money by listening to it, um, is remarkable. So thanks for creating that Craig. And so my last question is what should, what have we not talked about in the perfect day formula that we should, that we make sure that we mention? Oh, geez. Um, well, I think we've covered pretty much everything that really matters to me. We've covered, you know, helping people create the boundaries for their life, which is the rules in the morning, which allow them to get the most done. Mm-hmm. And actually, I guess the one thing that we haven't covered is the paradox that more structure in your life does actually lead to more freedom. Mm-hmm. So people think, wow, there's a lot of, you know, strict rules and stuff in this person's uh, approach to life. And there are. But again, if you think about it in terms of, a normal day for a normal person, you know, they work during the day and then, you know, their family is waiting for them at home. Well, wouldn't you want to be very structured in your day so that you know that you can get on home, you can get home on time for dinner, yeah. you can get home on time to read for your kids before before they go to bed, you can get home on time to actually pay attention to them and not your phone. And that's what it's all about. So that's why we do work so hard during the day yeah. and we do set up rules and we are very structured. And so the more structure you have in your life and you're in your days, the more freedom you have in your life so that you can go and do whatever you want at night. You can live wherever you want in the world when you're very successful because of the structure you have in your business. And you can do the things that you've always dreamed of doing because you get so much done. Yeah. And that's an objection you get. People tell you, well, you don't have kids, right? Yeah, I do get that. And then uh, and I just point to all the people that have been successful with the formula with kids. So, right, you know, right. One of my friends, Bedros Koulian, not only does he get home on time for dinner, but he gets home on time after, you know, and he he has like one of the biggest growing fit, fitness franchises in, in America and he runs a, a big business, but he still gets home on time to play guitar with his son before dinner and then play games right. with him after dinner. And so yeah. he gets to shut down at night and not worry about work because he gets so much done during the day. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone check out the perfect day formula.com or is it perfect day formula without the T H E? I think we have both, but perfect day formula.com for sure. Check it out. Craig, thank you so much. It's been fantastic. Thank you. Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. Like a peach if you find the same